Feeling uninspired lately? Lack of creativity? Feel that lack of luster in life? Hi, I'm Dr. Sue Mortar with Mortar Institute, bridging science, spirit, and human possibility. And I'd love to share some things with you about that. You know, creativity is your true nature. It's what you're made of. So many people say, I'm not very creative. I'm not really the artistic type. And I want to say to you that the entirety of the universe is made of creative energy. There is nothing that is not made of creative essence. If science were to break down the fundamental basic uh, process and the, the physicality inside of this physical world that we're living in, the smallest, tiniest particle is completely influenced by your very whim. When you think a thought, it moves in accordance with your thought. That's how creative you are. That's how masterful you are at generating a life. It's just that we've never been taught how to do that. So what science is revealing for us today is giving us permission to begin to tap the creative source and resource that we are. And so as we do that, we begin to see ourselves differently, maybe perhaps not as the artist who paints on a canvas so beautifully, articulately demonstrating exactly the most beautiful orchestration. But when you just decide to show up differently in a life situation than you've ever shown up before for no apparent reason, just because you choose, you're actually tapping the same creative resource that the beautifully accomplished artist is tapping. So one time I was on the phone in a consultation with a gentleman who was kind of coaching me. Uh, I had just stepped into the world of meditation and spirituality and, and I prior to that was you know, very interested in having things be tangible and proven in a plan and a process that you follow. And it had gotten me a long way in life. I was very successful. I was in the top 3% of my profession and, and just z zipping right along and I was not fulfilled very successful and not fulfilled, very different thing. And so I was on the phone with this gentleman who was kind of guiding me in some things that were opening up for me at the time. And he said, what would you be doing with your life if it was the ideal life? If you could be living anything exactly the way you wanted, what would that be like? I was on the phone with him and tears started to form in my eyes and actually rolled down my face a little bit and I just coughed out the answer to him that I really had no idea. I had never thought in those ways. I had no idea what my ideal life would be like. I was just doing what I thought I was supposed to be doing. And I know this is true for you too. It's what so many of us are caught up doing and living. And he said to me some magical words that changed my mind's perspective on the entire uh, reality. And he said, well, what would you do if you did know? What would you say if you did know what to say right now? And immediately it was like a door flew open and I said, well, if I, if I did know, I'd say something like, I'd be teaching beautiful meditation and self-healing retreats on, on beautiful beachfront destinations around the world. And he said, write that down. And I said, okay. And I, so I wrote it down in a notebook in my desk, uh, pulled out, opened up, wrote it down, closed the notebook when the phone call was over, stuck it in my drawer, and there it was. I went back to treating patients and doing what I was supposed to be doing. Never really thought about it again. And then, years later, we're moving our office. I have to pack up my desk. I'm going through the drawers and finding things. I find this notebook, I open it up, and of course it opens to exactly that same page. I read the words, and I sat down. I was dumbfounded because I was leaving two days later for my very first meditation and self-healing retreat at the beautiful beachfront destination in Mexico that I had dreamt of and wanted to do and had manifested. I hadn't driven it as a plan. I just allowed my creativity to rise because he gave me permission to not have to know how it was gonna roll, just make it up. So in what felt to me like shooting from the hip, I just rolled out an answer. But what I want you to get is that your subtle anatomy would dictate that when you shoot from the hip, you're actually shooting from the second chakra energies, for instance, and you really should learn about these things because it's fascinating information, that the second chakra energies are considered your creative womb. They are considered where your creativity rises. And if you give it permission to rise, it's constantly dictating a new and uncharted territory for you that is more fulfilling than the one that your limited linear mind can come up with when you set out to chart your most uh, pristine plan. So what happens is we tap our creativity when we allow ourselves to just 
shoot from the hip, just make it up. When you just make it up, you're actually generating and stepping into your role as creatorship. I speak about creatorship all the time, and, and what it is referencing is truly an entirely different reality than the one that the thinking mind comes up with. Creatorship is really about getting the mind, as Einstein said, to steward our great intuitive. When the mind is stewarding our great intuitive, we are in our true power, and when we're there, we are an influence that the world is looking for. We are the one that can create and generate a loving solution to everything that the world is perceiving as a problem. We begin to see that there's no such thing as a problem. There is only a nudging and an opportunity for us to tap and to access something deeper and richer. Everything is trying to call us back home to our own core. It's a natural flow. It's your natural state. You're not only intended to be creative, you're made of creativity. The entire universe is made of creative energy, of creativity. And if you take the entire universe and you start compressing it and compressing it and compressing it and compressing it, what science is now showing us is that that compressed version of energy is you. It's what you're made of. If you decompress it, there is no disconnect between you and the rest of creation. So the whole idea is you are that. You are made of everything that you dream of. And all you have to do is learn to build the neurocircuitry to be able to perceive it so that you can start to take action upon it without questioning yourself and interrupting the flow and aborting or abandoning the ship, aborting the mission, abandoning the ship before it even has an opportunity to roll out. And this is what we do until we don't. So what the Energy Codes is teaching you is teaching you how to build those circuits. In the coursework, we dive into learning how to hook up different energy flows in the body so that the mind can now feel and sense and perceive, and the sensory nervous system can come online with supporting you. For the outcome that you're looking for, it is your destiny. The outcome that you are looking for, it is your destiny. It's what you're here for. So if you feel tired, and you feel that you have no passion and that you just don't have that 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 lusting lush, lusciousness for life and it's not happening in you that's okay it only means that you've been trying to survive on a set of circuits that are limiting your life experience and it's time to learn how to build more it's time how to it's time to learn how to dive in and really have access to the truth of who you are again shoot from the hip make it up begin to feel and sense that that you can't do it wrong because the truth is you can't it's just that we were raised in an environment where the adults were trying to look out for us and they kept saying no don't you can't try not and they're trying to keep you alive long enough to to grow up to a point where you could make your own decisions and find another way of living and so the rules and the regulations that were keeping us safe are now confining us and this is your time it's your time now, perhaps, to unveil that, to peel it away and step up out of that and step into the creative zone that is the truth of who you are. So it's not something you have to get revved up to and get all psyched up to be in your creativity. It's exactly the opposite of that. It's about you dropping in to your authenticity, to feeling your own heart of hearts and to breathe life into your deep wisdom because when you do, you connect your conscious attention to an evolutionary impulse that is trying to rise up through your system nonstop and reveal itself as the new human, that what's next for humanity. You are trying to reveal yourself as the cutting edge of consciousness. But we can't do that when we keep trying to put ourselves back in the box, follow the rules, fit in, do it like everyone else is doing it. With enough love and compassion inside of you, active and awake, there is nothing that you cannot propose to the world. You can step out into the world as that, and the world will receive you. And if they don't receive you, the energy codes will teach you what to do with that so that you can build the circuitry to not wobble in that moment. Because in that moment, you're also being shown the opportunity of how to stand in the great strength, which is de-emphasizing your own ego, your own ego which thinks you're less than and incapable of something. It's de-emphasizing that and allowing something else to rise up as soon as we 
build enough circuitry to perceive this deep wisdom rising. Once we do, we don't look back. Once we do, we don't wobble, we don't waver, we don't look over our shoulder and wonder, am I doing the right thing? Is this really gonna work? It's so inspired and driven by your own personal passion that it's unquestionable. So if you're feeling tired and no passion, it isn't because you used it up and it's gone. It's because you've lost touch with it. It is an ever rushing river through the core of your being. And I'd love to show you how to tap that river again. Our culture needs it, our country needs it, our world is ready for it. It is time for us to step into our greatness and to truly accept the greatest gift that we were ever given. Find your magnificence and allow it to lead. Many blessings to you and I look forward to connecting soon. I hope you found the video helpful. If so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at drsuemorder.com for a free membership and a free meditation that comes with it. Thank you again, and I look forward to connecting soon.